Today I'm going to be making Hardcore Season 4. Um, hardcore. The reason why I haven't carried on with Hardcore Season 3 was because, I, first of all, I haven't played with it in a long time, on it for a hard time. And plus, um, all the footage is just messed up. Hardcore Season 4. This time we'll start with the start map. Multiplayer off. We'll just do random seed. Respawn radius 1. No cheats. Um, oh yeah, I've got the classic texture pack on too, so you're going to see that too. So that's going to be pretty cool. I don't know how long this it will be but hopefully we get a good seed hardcore season three was a pretty good seed need to actually open it so we've got savannah over there let's see if we can find a desert and find a god apple i might try and do that if there is a desert at all actually because savannas are normally the border edge of a desert. And I might even live at the desert temple because then that's a free house. That would be a free house. Even if the loot's absolute garbage, maybe I'll stay in there. Maybe a verge so we can get some bread. This looks like we gotta go this way. It does. It looks like we might also have to scale a mountain. <coughs> that will be useful. The map's really helpful though. Um, I don't know if you can call it cheats or not. One thing I never do is bonus chests though, so. Sheep will be pretty good. That's kind of stupid of me just punching them with my flipping fists. But it's better than using all of our wood and just a sword. There we go. Told you there would be a desert. Told you there would be a borderline. Okay, there we go. That's a bed for the day, isn't it? Normally, one quit, two quit, three quit. Free food, raw food too, but we already have all the wool, even though we haven't even crafted any planks yet. I might take some grass with me. If uh, I can get some saplings, that'd be pretty good. Because then we should have. There we go. That's it. That's all we need. I thought that was a mesa for a second. Like, Holy crap. Village, but it's an abandoned one, so that's helpful. A fishing rod. Usually I use fishing rods usually sometimes so I'm not gonna go in and okay they didn't get angered. No they didn't. Yeah. We can break some dead bushes so we don't need to make anything use. Yeah yeah. I got a hitting stick. <laughs> What would be good is if we have a ginormous platform of grass, of dirt, no not dirt, grass blocks. Just a ginormous platform of dirt blocks, or grass blocks. 
so we can even spawn passive animals. If you didn't know, passive animals only spawn on grass blocks. Pick some more sugar cane. We've already got kind of a place to live, even though it's abandoned. Which is kind of unfortunate, but hey ho. If we do get a golden lap inside that thingy, we can get a thingy. Um, I've got a weakness potion. <coughs> That'd be good. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to make a crafting table, make a bed, make a wooden pick. That's a blast furnace. That could be helpful. No, it looks like there's no stone nearby. So I'm gonna have to dig a hole. I'd rather dig here. This is why mines are terrible in this biome. I don't know if this works. Oh, it works! Oh my god, that's actually so helpful. I might as well just do that. I never knew beds could do that. Okay. Kind of upsetting. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. It's bad news, we can't find stone. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, is this guy gonna try and go? This guy tries to battle me. Shut my door. Now. You should always remember to shut your door when you're recording. There we go. Must be in a cave nearby. Wait, there's a coffin table here. Okay. Reason why I wanted a hoe is to do this. So we can collect all of this. Yeah. Ooh, chest. Yoink. This is why villages are always helpful. Even though this is a band of one, it's still okay. It's still a good village. It still has very, very high stocks of, you know, the good stuff. I want to quickly go back down to my hole. Yeah, I've had to mine ten blocks down to get this. There we go. So, what we're going to do now is make an app. be helpful. Deserts are definitely not ideal places to live though. And I just walk straight past one of those veggies. Oh, that's a composter. Not a or not hay bone. There's no um, iron golem. 
even though I'm only going to be risky. Already used. That, yeah, that means that we've got nearly a stack, that means. Uh, the way that you know how it's, um... So, uh, cobwebs are classed as entities. Um, they don't look like an entity, but they're classed as entities. So when you walk far away from them, they don't appear. But how I know, even if there is... Even if the cobwebs don't even show yet, it's because there's holes inside the buildings to replace the cobwebs. A stack of 26, that is good. I'll only make a little bit of it. I'll just keep it there. No way. Yes, I did get my bed. I only need a little. I only need a little. That really annoys me. So, first night, and we've already got a bed. That is quite satisfying, that is. Oh, look what's over there. As the sun sets, we can see a village outpost. Maybe if you're, if a village is abandoned, I don't know this. This is not true. I don't know if it's true, actually. Does that mean that there's an outpost nearby? Because we could see outposts in the shadows. We want to immediately get to sleep before any of these bad guys spawn. And it looks like we got to bed just in time, or maybe not. Skyline level eight. A little exploration can't hurt. So we've already got food, a bed, We're already collecting iron on the first night. But surprisingly, no coal, so we can't smelt the iron. Wait. Is that coal? Yes, it is coal. Sorry, I can't see inside the dark. Okay, I can't see any more. So I know there probably was there was more. To be honest, I'm not bothered. I, all I want to do is just try and find a desert temple if there is one, because I think if we could find a desert temple, that would be big. And they look cool, and they're my favourite structure. One of my favourite structures. There's a desert well over there. Desert wells are pretty cool. That's a real village with actual villages inside it. Maybe we could do a little bit of trading. We could trade away some of our wheat. They probably also have wheat, so we're probably going to get more wheat out of that. Well, that abandoned village was very lucky in giving us what we want and giving us a of it. I don't think usually villages have that many. Oh, look, that's the outpost. Why would you set a village here? That's just so bad. I'm not taking on an outpost, they're scary. First start game. It will also be able to capitalise with the capitalise on the Oh there's a desert temple there, I didn't see that. I'll go read that then. Pretty happy with myself. This is already a pretty lucky seed actually. What is our seed? Okay, if you guys want a good seed, minus one five nine eight seven eleven. No, minus one five nine eight seven one one eight five three is your call.
Size with the good seed is cool. No one's down here. Respiration two and more shots. Oh, okay. Diamond horse armor looks nice. <gasps> oh my god, let's go. I knew it. Let's go. I knew I was going to predict a god apple. I literally predicted a god apple. Let's go. No, let's actually... No. I think on Minecraft Bedrock, though, um, loot tables re-roll even if you have the same seed. Not like PC, so... You can check it out to see if you find a god apple. You might not, but... Michael, lunch is ready. 